So then all six rounds try to go unbroken with your one minute, one minute reset. It is. It, it's meant to not be enough for us though. That's how good you be though. <laughs>
I'll do, I'll do uh, one more. I, I think I have it. Yeah, I got the app. If it still works, I can use the Oh, the mat's hot. So I have lots of questions. So I posted my Q&A on Instagram, and so I got quite a few questions to answer. Got some good ones. Um, I'll knock out two and one. one uh, so, one of the questions was, um, like, what sports did I play before CrossFit? Like, what, what was I doing? Um, like, do I have a background? And then another one of the questions from one of my friends who knows me is, do I miss volleyball? So the answer was, I played volleyball. It was like the only thing I did. Um, I never, but I only played like in high school and like re recreationally in college. So I, don't, I never really played collegiate sports. I really liked trail running when I was in college. Um, like I would just go in the gym and do lots of like Globo gym type stuff. I once ran on a treadmill for seven miles. That was terrible. It was terrible. I think it was after I drank a red line. Sounds really hard. You know how red line's only supposed to be? I think you told me that story. You yeah, did. red line's only supposed to be half a serving, half a bottle per serving, and I drank the whole you thing. Drank the whole thing, and, and then I ran seven miles on a treadmill. <laughs> but anyway. Um, but I liked playing volleyball in college, um, like on the rec team. That was fun. But no, never like collegiate sports or anything like that. Um, but I just always loved fitness and just being active and fit. But I never really like found my sport or found my niche until I, until I joined CrossFit. But I really do miss volleyball. Um, <coughs> and uh, I would love to go play sometime, like, like on the beach or something. It would be fun. Seated. Straddle? I don't know how to do this one. You sit straddling the imaginary object. Ooh, the mat is hot. Not when um, you can't go low. <laughs> Let's see. What are the questions he asked? Um, Robert Toe. At Robert Toe. Ooh, that's a clever <laughs> name, actually. As, um, are you a full-time athlete? And if so, how did you transition from a part-time athlete to a full-time athlete? So this is actually interesting because a lot of people don't know. I'm, I'm actually a, uh, a full-time student. I'm a full-time graduate student. Um, I'm getting my master's in biology. And um, I'm sort of, I mean, I'm also a part-time biology instructor at the same school. Um, and then I would say I'm part-time 
athlete because, I mean, I train anywhere between four to six hours a day, but, um, you know, it's, it's split up and I don't know. I, I, I do other things besides CrossFit. So sometimes that makes it difficult, but yeah, I'm busy, but it's, um, it's kind of nice to split it up, you know, and, and I, I have to be really efficient with my time because I have other things to do. So when I'm not doing CrossFit or at school, um, I have to be spending like all of that free time doing recovery stuff. Um, when I'm at home watching TV, I'm stretching at all times. Um, either that or I'm, I'm on my Norma Tech or I have my Compex or something recovery wise. So any free time that I have, I make sure that I recover. Um, I make sure that I sleep at least like eight, if not more hours a night. So yeah, not being a full-time athlete, uh, it's tough because you have to manage your time well, but it's practice, takes practice. Um, That's a good question. Yeah, it was. Really clever name. I don't get it. Roberto? Oh, Roberto! <laughs> oh my God, it took you that long? <laughs> Graduate student over here. It's a good thing I didn't say. I wonder what his name is. <laughs> she would have been like, oh! Roberto! Clever. <laughs> Two points for your question. Okay. <laughs> Puppy dog. Um. What else? I can tell you what else. It's hot as shit out here. Told you. Oh, this one's a good one. By. It's Sam, it's underscore Sam Slimer. Sam Simler. <laughs> <laughs> Ruining these names. Which are them? You need to put the handles up. Right? <laughs> yes, I'm going to put them on the screen. Um, this question is, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? Um, so this is a really good question, and I kind of wish I had a little bit more time to think about the answer, but just off the top of my head. Um, so one of my goals this year was to, was to be more vulnerable, like allow myself to just be more vulnerable, whether that's um, just like, I don't know, in the gym or, or on social media or, or whatever. I just wanted to um, kind of let people see things that go wrong, see um, the, the stuff that people don't usually want to show on social media, the stuff that people don't want, um, you know, most of the people in their life to know that actually happens in real life. So, and I think by, by doing that, it would just like, let me be um, myself more, let me be more relaxed, um, enjoy what I'm doing not stress so much about like being perfect all the time so that was kind of one of my goals this year and so I thought that by starting a YouTube channel it would um, kind of hold myself accountable to that um, because for one you know I'm not editing these videos and so if I do something weird or wrong or I make sure stupid, to put it in there <laughs> then you make sure that it you know I'm not allowed to edit it out um, and also, I mean, it's just, it, it's been a lot of fun just like showing people what I do on a day-to-day -day basis because, um, you know, like I said, some people don't know that I'm a student. Some people at school don't know that I do CrossFit. It's, it's just kind of cool to share that with, um, with people. Um, like I said, I wish I had more time to think about that answer because I think that more could go into that. But um, yeah, that was a good question. That's kind of the gist of it. Is I, I'd like to be more vulnerable and show people that things aren't perfect all the time. Um, Slimer with the good question. Slimer, <laughs> my boy. No, I think it's a girl. A oh, girl. Slimer. Sam, Sam Slimer. Slimer. Similar. Similar. <laughs> um, next. How did you get so flexible? Who asked that question? <laughs> I told you, I stretch while I watch TV. I stretch while I eat. Um. Ooh, this is where 
for me now and make me look bad. What is it? I already look bad. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it the rebound? <laughs> Just kidding. No, that's the one. How do I doing. talk to them when I'm doing saddle? Because I lay on the ground. Hey, don't go all the way back. Turn upside down. Lay this way. <laughs> you should. You should literally lay your head this way and then talk upside down. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. This is gonna be an actual funny video because we're gonna look like we're crying. Um. <laughs> wow. Oh. This one also, I wish I had more time to think about the answer. By Dikaru90. <laughs> I think that's it. Dikaru. What keeps you motivated? Ooh! <laughs> I'll tell you right now what keeps her motivated. Pizza, what? ice cream. <laughs> I was gonna say besides AG the barber. Um, that's a really good one. Um, well, so I think that if you train as hard as I do, as hard as a lot of people do in CrossFit, you have to know why you're doing it and, um, so that's, you know, that's the question, right? Like what keeps me motivated? Um, and I've, I've definitely spent a lot of time trying to figure out my why. <laughs> and it's not really that easy to, to find like your why sometimes. I don't know, maybe some, for some people it is, but I've had a hard time. And I think that for the most part, I've come to think that, uh, my why, well, one of my whys, I think you could have multiple, is that I just want to like do what I know that I'm capable of doing. And I, then maybe that's lame, but you want to prove to yourself. But I just feel like I can make myself proud by just working as hard as I think I could, as I could possibly work. Um, I don't think that I've done that yet, even at this point. You know, like I've I've been competing for four, five years, whatever. Um, I've gone to regionals, you know, and I've, I've competed at a high level for a while now, and I still haven't really, like, been 100% proud of myself. Um, because I don't think that I've really put in as, mer as much work as I could possibly put in. So, and I'm working on that now. Like, especially being on this new program, I'm really putting, like, 100% effort in, and it's feeling really good, and I have been proud of myself lately. So I think that that's a big... Like, big thing that keeps me motivated is just, like, continuously proving to myself that I can work at 100% of my capacity and, and and keep improving and just make myself proud. So I think that's one of my big whys. Um, and I'd like to come up with more and think of more in the future. So I'm working on that. All right. Let's get one more. My question is even great. Really trying to hold this straight. This is like the most relaxing stretch. Ow! My feet are killing me. Um, if I didn't have a haircut appointment right now, then we would stay for like 20 questions. There are some like good like, like just fire questions that I could just answer. Like, what's the hardest workout you've done? What's your favorite lift? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, let's do those real quick. How um, about how about well, Alan well, well, ask you the, the question? You rapid fire answer. Rapid fire is good. I like rapid fire. Hold on. But let me answer one more like good one. My knees one. are rapid firing at me right now. <laughs> that stretch. Wait, are we done with that stretch? No, it was two more minutes, oh. but we couldn't do it. <laughs> we were trying not to make your video look stupid while we were crying. I was literally like, ah, I'm already. We're talking to each other like, don't cry right now. <laughs> okay. Here's one. What's your, okay, so this one's by Fat Boy Moy. Yeah, I think you should sit up though. No, we're done with that pose. Oh, are we? No, because yeah. it's more minutes. We're good though. <laughs> yeah. I think people want to actually hear you, hear you actually okay. answer these questions. That's the last one anyway. And not watch you stretch because we know you're amazing at stretching. I got two questions about my ethnicity. That's really funny. And I'll, I'll do that one too. Just say you're black. Ooh, this one's good. Best advice for a beginner during your Oh. Okay, Best this one advice. is from. X, Jacqueline X, X Jacqueline X. I guess her name's Jacqueline. So um, the question is, what is um, your best advice for a beginner doing the open? So this is this is a good question, especially because there are so many changes going on with the open season, um, and we don't really know what's gonna happen, but we'll see because the open is actually this week, which is pretty cool. Dun, dun, dun. 
Um, so honestly, like the best advice, and this is gonna sound so cliche, but like you have to, have to, have to let yourself just have a good time and have fun, and just focus on your 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 own improvement. Um, you know, especially like historically, the pat the open has been you know let's try to get to regionals, blah blah blah, whatever. Like that's everyone's goal, but um, that that really shouldn't be the goal. Um, unless like you're like a bubble athlete and you're already like, you know, you are already right there. Um, the Open is, is all about self-improvement and just seeing where you've come um, and pushing yourself and having a really good time with it. And like that's honestly the best advice that I can give, even though it's super cliche. Just you, you really do have to let yourself have fun because it's not, there's no point in being as stressed out as most people are about the Open. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> like let yourself have a good time like that's what it's about so as a beginner in the open have a good time you know if you're if you're like a bubble athlete that's a different story and that was kind of in the past now you have to be top 20 in the world for something to happen now but um seriously have a good time and let this just be like a benchmark for next year just like embrace the energy too All yeah the that too lights. like energy so dope the energy is so much fun, especially if you've never competed before. Like, let this be like your first sort of competition that's just like great energy and, you know, everyone's cheering each other on. And that's another good piece of advice too, is like, give as much energy to other people as you would want to have to yourself. Like, be as excited for other people's PRs and other people's, um, you know, self-improvement as you are in your own. So that just makes it so much more fun and so much more about community um, as opposed to anything else. So. Five weeks. That's it. It's a long time. Want to do some rapid fire? Ones? Do some rapid fire ones. Yeah. yeah. So if you just uh, swipe. All right. Wait. You ask them. Oh, this is gonna Ooh, be good. All right. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. <laughs> and, all right. And just gonna say who asked you? Oh man, that's gonna be the hard part. I'm not a strong uh, public reader, so. Public reader. Yeah. She wants to correct that right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it makes sense. All right. Let me see. Just like shoot him out of a cannon. Don't even. I don't, don't even, even know how to pronounce. Look at the first name. Don't even say the name. The second one. Tag him later. It's Jeremy. Oh, I guess we said it. Jeremy underscore. It just threw me off. Sure, Jeremy underscore. Jeremy underscore. What's your favorite and least favorite Oli lift? All right. So favorite Oli lift. If you know me, you know it's snatch. <laughs> and. <laughs> um, yeah, snatch. And least favorite would be only lift. There are only three of them, right? I mean, yeah, two, I mean, technically, technically, yeah. So my my weakest is is the jerk. So usually you're you're not as happy about what you're not as good at. So we'll stick with the jerk. Yeah. Um, let me see. Ace underscore KB says, "What's your favorite CrossFit workout?" Also, if you know Desiree, you know the answer to this one right away. <laughs> DT. Don't need many letters for that one. Oh, <laughs> Once DT. again, if you're really good at it, you like it. So I hate that pretty good at it. And there's no snatches. Yeah, That's true. There's no snatches. There's no snatches. Okay. So you um, Alec underscore Garcia underscore sixteen. Why is Alan so nice and oh amazing? Oh my God! You had to say that one. You're seriously his man crush. <laughs> Shout out Alec. I see you, boy. It's weird. I like that question. Um, ooh, cap underscore attack. This is kind of a weird, but this is kind of weird. But what what ethnicity are you? Good question, because most people don't know what I am. Um, my dad is half Filipino, half Vietnamese, and my mom's a white girl. No mm. <laughs> <So>, girl. <laughs> um, let me see. So yes, I'm a halfy. That was who asked if I'm a halfy. Oh, someone did ask if you're a halfy, so that was a two for one. D underscore Leon seventy five. Um, marry me? Question <laughs> mark. I don't know. Found my burner account. <laughs> <laughs> Whose fence does that? <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for your questions. That was really cool. Seeing what you guys are all interested in, interested in knowing. Um, and I have a lot more questions and. I would like to get a little bit more in depth on some of the questions too. Um, 
So uh, hopefully in the future we'll be making more videos like that. So thanks again and thank you for watching. And you know, like subscribe or whatever. Do the thing. <laughs> Do the thing. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you guys ever have any more questions, just you know, let me know and hopefully it'll be featured in a future video. So thank you. These are not protein pancakes. <laughs> <laughs>